I wouldn't know I had to make this video. <laughs> Just kidding guys, what's up, Soccer Fishing here. Today we have the first episode of Fishing Mythbusters. You know the comedy show Mythbusters, they like bust myths. Pretty self-explanatory, uh, we're busting myths about fishing. So today, our first episode, do big baits catch big bass? Let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to think of is the hatch. What are the bass eating? And the simple answer for ponds is bluegill and maybe craw and um, shellfish stuff like, not shellfish, but like freshwater shellfish. But if you think about a jig, uh, honestly, I think jigs, with my personal experience, catch small fish. Like take this picture right here, for example. I caught that fish on a jig, very small, not even a pound. But if you watch the videos in lakes, you got people catching freaking lunkers on jigs. So it's it's really different what you fish. If you fish a pond, jigs don't catch giant fish. But if you fish a lake, jigs catch lunkers, man. Like it's the big bait, big big bass catching machine. So, but then you have to throw into the equation Roman made mother swim baits right there. They are uh, very expensive. They are five hundred dollars. I'm talking about a five hundred dollar bait. If you don't have one of these, you don't have a lure. Which is like ridiculous. Abu Wadis, they make them custom. They are trouts, pickerel, anything that's small, and they eat. So those a uh, small fish is not gonna bite onto one of those. One hundred percent. If you catch a fish on a Roman made swim bait or have any other swim bait of that kind. I mean, you're good. I mean, take example for this little tackle box I have here. Actually, pull it out. If I open it up and show you, I have this little smallmouth swim bait. Kind of looks like a creek chub. I don't know if you can see it there. I've had a trophy bass follow, and I, I, I you might think I'm exaggerating. It was like this long. I had that thing follow it out. It was crazy. So I think that big bait. I think it does catch big fish because if you think about it, the very large bass are not going to be going out after minnows that are this big. The small bass are because it makes perfect sense. If you're fishing a pond that's like just out of spawn like right now, early summer and you got all the little fry swimming around, you're going to use very small baits like um, Lunker Hunt Maybugs used work very well. Pieces of soft plastics, Ned Rigs. Very, those three baits are very good for those fry that are swimming around after spawn. Grubs, anything that resembles a small meal for the fish. But if you see a big bass in a bed, you're going to want to throw a jig, a swim bait, a crankbait. You know, it, it just depends what you see. But in the summer, you, I mean, it, it's pretty hard to control what bites in the area. But if you want to catch big fish... I say throw a larger bait. I mean, with the jigs, it's you probably catch bigger fish in lakes, but in ponds, um, the jigs catch smaller ones, really. But if you want to catch some big bass, big fish in general, I think bigger baits do work. I believe this myth is true. I do believe that bigger baits catch bigger fish. It is 100% a fact. Not 100%, I'd say like, 95% of the time, bigger baits catch bigger fish. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. It was kind of something a little different. If you guys want to do more of these, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And by the way, we are doing a Q&A on my Instagram. People are asking me a bunch of questions, and I'm going to answer them on YouTube. So go ahead and follow it. Boom, 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 right here. Follow it. Bam, 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 bam. Follow my Instagram. Bam, follow it. Bam, 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 bam. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day.